Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my channel. This is the original one and only Silo Man coming to you from an underground launch control facility in a former Atlas F intercontinental ballistic missile base outside of Roswell, New Mexico, USA. Over the roughly next 17 minutes, I'm going to be taking you through some of the electrical that we've just finished up, both on the upper and lower level of the control center, and what we're doing at some of the receptacles, and how we're making some of the changes there. As you can tell, this has now been a project that's taken quite a long time in terms of, of years, not because it's been overly difficult, it's just I haven't had the schedule to allow me to finish it. So what you're gonna be seeing now is is Carrie and I are working on the upper level and we're just simply going through and we're putting in the receptacles into the boxes and we're tying those in together and you'll see we're going along at this point in, in doing this. Also we're coming back and we, we made the openings just a little bit too big, so we're coming back with some plaster and, and plastering in around them and in setting the correct depth for the receptacle itself. So it's kind of nice. We're finally seeing this change. Uh, we've gone ahead and run all the, the lines to the main panel itself. And so as we're coming around, you can see some of this that we've been doing. We need to go back also on the trim <clears throat> excuse me and do some of the um, uh, the finer filling around some of the areas that still open we're changing from basically um, a quad box to a duplex and you can see as we're coming around <clears throat> And there you have it. We're coming back in, and then what we'll be doing is coming in, of course, with plaster on each side of the opening itself. Originally, we had set this up. I was gonna do it with quad boxes and then change my mind to just do it with duplexes, which are simply just two. Right now, and we're in the open living area as we're coming around. It is so satisfying to finally see this all start to come together. And there you can see we finished those. Different angle looking back towards the, the wall for the bathroom itself. You can see the doorways open there for the utility area. Again, that's the wall to the bathroom. That will be the new kitchen area and what's kind of odd is you're going to be seeing that probably in the next few hours uh, we're coming off of another eight day run we took a break for a few days so it's finally and i'm sorry i haven't got this video uh uploaded that it's taken this long but you're gonna i'm, I'm we're pretty impressed with all the work that we've got done with the kitchen we're looking at it right now probably within another week uh we're gonna have this pretty well all ticked and tied That will be the kitchen area. And we're getting those boxes set there. Oh, 
will be for the refrigerator. And there you can see where we're running some of the GFIs. We'll have two circuits, uh, independent GFI circuits on the, the countertop. And that's also uh, where Kerry's sleeping at the time being. He'll be moving that shortly, and you'll be seeing that also. We missed a couple pieces of the trim, so we had to bring in some more. And that's what's laying right there. circuit on the back wall for the utility room. Look forward when we can get all the tools and the racks out of there. Then the utility sink of course. Yeah, not bad. <clears throat> what you're also going to be seeing is that we're going to coming back with that crown molding across the top. And wow, what a difference. Uh, to me, it just makes all the difference in the world because then that wall looks like an absolutely finished product. And then again, we're just tying those two circuits together, which will be with the GFI. One thing you must get used to when you're working on missile bases is you've always got a limited space. So instead of constantly going from one area, if we were to lay out all the tools on the lower level, then you're constantly going from the lower level to the upper level because you've forgotten something. So I just so look forward to as we're, we're wrapping this up. You're seeing the, the spaces now really open up. That's in the office. Uh, with the storage area, you'll see it there. We're going through now, working on it, tying all of those receptacles in to the different circuits, also tying in the lights, the switches to the new lights. We've got all of that into the, the main panels now, which make it nice. All we really need to do is once we've got everything in place, then we'll go ahead and energize those independent circuits um, then check to make sure we have no issues. Obviously, a, you know, a breaker breaking. And um, start closing her up.
back storage area from the office. And those were those little LED lights I was talking about. Wow, what marvelous. Bell and Howell. Got them at Home Depot. And I mean, wow, what a, what great little lights. And they're all battery operated. You just sit them on the charger and they last about, oh, anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours, but just phenomenal light because when we shut down uh, the disconnect up on the surface for us to go ahead and do the changeover, of course, you know, you never want to do that on the live, on the live panel. And so, again, I need to give you my caveat here is that, you know, you're dealing with electrical. Please, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not really, really good at, what, at this, please have a licensed electrician do this for you. None of these circuits are energized, so there's really no issues there. And that's in the little storage unit. That will also be a GFI unit down there. You may also notice that coiled line. That was a, I originally wired that for an electric hot water tank if it's needed, so at least all of that will be there should ever, you know, in the future. You know, you not want to have a, a, a an electric hot water on demand um, hot water unit. You could go then at that point to a, it'd make it very easy. And again, we're going around in that back storage area off the office. And in here, you can see a picture we're down there working on the electrical there at the bottom of the the plumbing manifold. There's some of the camera plates for the quad boxes. Makes it nice. This is the opposite side of the little storage room. We're just simply putting a receptacle in there. We're not going to do a GFI. There's no uh, obviously there's no water. And that's on the back side of the wall itself. And this in fact is just below the electrical subfed panel coming in from the main. So we're doing one there. Now we're back in the office area. I wound up being one or two uh, uh, receptacles short, so I had to run and pick those up. And again, these are all 20 amp, not your standard 15s. And two, this was a little harder to work with because I, I just like to over-engineer it a bit. And so I ran everything basically in number 10 wire. You get very little droppage in terms of your, your voltage. side of the wall itself or the room I should say if you're going to see it on this video or you'll see it on the next one. 
next one we did quite a bit more, and I'm certainly sorry for that. I apologize for the delay. I think this one's been about two weeks coming. And I wish everyone that's staying home, for any of you that are with this, you know, the coronavirus, you know, Godspeed. Our prayers and thoughts are with you. Well, again, ladies and gentlemen, I know this one was dry. Um, <laughs> we're hoping to, maybe this next one I think that you're really going to like. Uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching and, and your patience with all of this. And please be safe. And when you're out and about, take precautions. Um, you're probably going to be hearing from me in about another 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes. So we'll see how that goes. Again, thank you all.